Hello there everybody, on today's wrestling news, did Cody Rhodes make his WWE return last night? I'll tell you. Tony Khan teases another huge announcement. There's been a quiet little appointment backstage at WWE. And Miz's WrestleMania tag team partner has been revealed. Welcome to the news again, it's the news, it's the news of Adam and Phil, and we've got some news for our hip and knees, we've got some news for you, I feel sick. Yes, Hello everybody, my name is Adam Cleary, this is Phil Chambers, no Wilborn, no Andy, no Sidgwick, so you are down to the C team for your wrestling news this morning. Well, that's okay. got to dance. That's fine, it's okay, because we both feel slightly nauseous after doing all that, and we have some interesting stories for you. Now I know the question that's hot on everybody's bum crack today is Dick Cody Rhodes finally, after all that teasing, make his WWE return. His long speculated, much anticipated, very exciting for WrestleMania season, Phil, return on Monday Night Raw. Did he? No, he didn't. Ah. Uh. Don't turn off though, there's more, <laughs> way more than in the video than just that. Obviously, WWE has been speculated that they have gone and got Cody, who has left AW. Don't know if you picked up on that news last week, but he's left AW. Did you catch that one? Yeah, I did see that He's one, left yeah. AW, big shock thing. And it's, it's almost lost in the shuffle, that piece. Almost like, yeah, it was kind of like, yeah, we're talk, talk about burying the lead, <laughs> Phil. Anyway, so obviously all the talk is that he's going to WWE, because why would you leave AW in WrestleMania season when you've been unable to secure the bag that you want and then not go to the one place on earth that can give you the bag that you want, especially when it's WrestleMania season coming Indeed. up. So, a lot of talk, there's been a lot of backstage reports, apparently it's all but agreed, or it's all but signed, or we don't quite know where it is, but all the, all the signs look like he is heading there. So WWE, they started having a bit of fun with this yesterday, didn't they? They did. They put on their YouTube channel. WWE having fun. <laughs> they put on their YouTube channel, 10 most shocking comebacks in WWE history, me hours before Raw went online and the internet went, uh -huh. yeah, and then they put what's your favourite ever shock moment on Monday Night Raw and the internet went uh -huh. What's all this about? And then The Miz came out Do you know he needs a tag team partner he Phil? He does He needs a tag team partner for his match against the Mysterios yeah. But he hasn't got one Who could it oh, be? Who could it be? And he said he needed somebody of his sort of standing Somebody who was on his level Someone who was dashing hey. And all would be Someone revealed. From a fighting family. From a fighting family, all would be revealed later in the show. And it was none other no. than. We can't say that. That's the last story that we're going to do. So oh, so I can't even. No, they have to wait. They have to wait for that. Yeah. That's going to be a huge disappointment. It wasn't Cody Rhodes. <laughs> it's going to be a huge It wasn't Cody Rhodes in the story. It might be slightly uh, disappointing to you, you actually find out who it was, but it wasn't Cody Rhodes. So they were, having, they were just having a little bit of fun with everybody. But the fun didn't stop there, Phil. It didn't. Oh, no, the fun didn't stop there because Edge came out and did a promo. He's, he's waiting for somebody to challenge him for WrestleMania, don't you know? He wants somebody who's worthy of facing him at. At WrestleMania, he doesn't want any smoke and mirrors a. anymore. A and hey. slightly less of the internet then went A because that's a bit of a you've kind of got to really remember his old theme tune again. Whoa! It's only smoke and mirrors. That was crazy. Cool. See, so the, they're having a lot of fun with this. So I would say one of two things are true. Okay, right? Either he is definitely coming back to WWE, yeah. and they're just teasing it to get everybody excited, or that's not happening. <laughs> It's one of those two, yeah. I think. 50-50, yeah. he comes back or he doesn't. That's my insight. Yeah. What's yours? It's pretty much the same, to be honest. Although there are rumours that he is currently in Orlando filming things for a possible debut at some point. Yeah, but there were also rumours that he was on a flight to the Middle East. And that ended yeah, that's just, true. Yeah. Somebody on the internet just had the entire <laughs> wrestling journalism world pants down with that so one. Who knows at this point? Fair play. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that Cody Rhodes is going to be there in WWE. Uh, and at least they're having a little bit of fun with it. This is the one thing that Sidgwick was absolutely desperate for, that they'd have a little bit of fun in Instead of just going, oh, here's Cody Rhodes. And they're actually teasing. Teases are fun. So may I? I, st I still think that they're just going to forget about RK. You know, they just drop storylines without any consideration whatsoever. Yeah. I think they're just gonna they're just gonna do that. I think Randy's gonna come out the week before WrestleMania and be like, oh, I don't want to be in a tag team anymore because I started thinking about my legacy in this company and I don't want it to be as a tag team wrestler. Then Cody's gonna come out and be like, oh, you wanna talk about legacy? <laughs> and then they have like a 15-minute rest hall match. <laughs> Anyone and everyone's like, oh, anyone but Randy. Um, but yeah, let's move on yeah, to Tony Khan, <laughs> uh, who is teasing yet another huge announcement. He loves his place. He loves it. He's he? not learned by he now. He cannot stop. So he was on Busted Open Radio and he was teasing uh, basically just a massive announcement, is what he called it. Um, and he will be at, ready at some stage this week. Now he's still working on it, uh, but it would be, and I quote, a big deal in pro wrestling. And that's kind of as a whole, not just AEW. Um, but it won't be what 
people expect. Now, obviously, <laughs> whenever Tony Khan says there's a massive announcement, people are like, oh, he's just signed someone else because that's what he does. But Meltzer has come out and said that this probably will not be a new sort of free agent signing. This is something more on the business side, some kind of big business deal. But what kind of big business deal could ha be a big deal in pro wrestling as a whole? Doing a show, knows at doing this a show in New Japan. I yeah, get, yeah. He's got it, honestly. I get that it is the job of the promoter to promote. It is the yes. job of the hype man to hype. And I get, he hypes. I get he this. does not stop hyping. He does hyping. not stop hyping, but I get this. It was also the job of the boy who cried wolf to cry. <laughs> Wolf. That's why he was there. He was watching the sheep. It was his job to be like, hey everyone, Wolf! And after a few times where the wolf either wasn't there or was not as was promised or was not as exciting as he made the wolf out to be for numerous weeks on social media, of course. people are like, oh here we go, another wolf is it? I'm not saying Tony Khan is the promoter that hyped wolf. Not yet. But I will say that the villagers below him, me, Game you, does. everybody else, were like, Another wolf, is it, Tony? Another big bad wolf, is it? Uh, I'll have a look, because I do quite want to see the wolf, but oh, a few more a few more dogs, and I'm going to stop <laughs> listening to you. Uh, so basically what you're saying Tortured is that metaphor, Tony Khan has uh, signed wolf from Gladiators. Yes, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Locked on. That's there it. You know, that's I, it. Don't, I, I don't know what this is going to be. We'll, have to, you know, we'll, some file, or we'll find out at some point I this week, I assume. Just... I just want to get back to the whole, I know it's his job, and he I'm not going to be like... We did report last week as well that he said he was not going to... He's going to calm down on the free agent signings for a bit until he's got his next TV deal. I mean, if I was somebody who was obsessed with I mean, free agent signings... I mean, the next signings, day there was reports of Buddy Murphy and Jeff Hardy. Got, you know. I would say that as well. Yeah. If someone said, like, look, you've got to calm down these free agent signings because people are going to stop being excited by them, I'd be like, hey, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to calm down on those free agent signings. Wolf. Not. <laughs> Uh, do you want to do another story? Yes. I, about, I think they'll be in New Japan. I think we'll do a show in New Japan. Probably. I, Maybe White. a show in the UK? Yeah, that'd be really Maybe. cool. That'd I be think fun. I think the Jay White thing does kind of suggest, because obviously they've done the thing and he's betrayed yes. Uche Bullet Club where they're all, they're all getting their knickers in a twist, yeah. aren't they? Hiya, Tama. Um, so I think that probably does suggest they might be working together in some capacity, because I wouldn't imagine they'd let him do that, because it kind no. of all ties in there. I think yeah. it's that. A UK show would be absolutely stiffening to me, so we'll go for that as well. Anyway, remember, I'm not going to ask you to remember specifically which set of gross employee cullings this was by WWE. But it was, okay. one, of them. It was one of them during the one pandemic. One of the many. One of the many. In it was Drake Maverick. Yes. Not the first time. The second, the second time. The second time they called Poor him guy. for real this time, after they definitely called him for real and then just decided to give him that program before he went out and yeah. then, changed. you know, it was always heartfelt and he was wrestling for his career and, oh, they changed their minds because they're the good guys, except for the other 80 or so people they let go. Anyway, part my cynicism for a second. Guess who's back? Is it Drake Maverick? Drake Maverick, just days before, apparently, his 90-day no-compete clause would have expired. He has very quietly, according to... Uh, PW Insider and Fightful Select, been brought back into the company and given a creative role behind the scenes. There you go. Now, you've got to remember, the guy's done lots of different things. Obviously, he had that Cruiserweight run. He did the yeah. thing with Killian Dane. He was in NXT GM for a while. GM at 205 Live. GM at 205 Live. He managed the Authors of Pain and wet himself on television yeah. for real, apparently. The guy's done lots of different things. He was great with the Iconics on social media, I will point out as well. <laughs> the guy's apparently very popular behind the scenes. Everybody seems to like him. And... I mean, it's a hell of a business model. If, you, if your wage bill is too high to get rid of people, yeah. not let them work for three months, and then just as they're about to be able to work again, bring them back in, having saved three months' worth of wages. Yeah. Nick and then Khan's you get genius. to be the good guy, like pull them out of the darkness. Hey, oh, look yeah. who we hired. Yeah, yeah so Barry's doing stuff behind the scenes, working on the creative of Raw, I think is right. Uh, yeah, let's, say that's, let's that. say that's true, so <laughs> can't hurt, I suppose. <laughs> Um, yeah, Drake Maverick's great. Like he's another one of those people that everyone always has nice things to say about, uh, and he's obviously had a very creative guy with the kind of things he's done in the past, uh, and even in his independent run and things like that. We had him over for one show. For no one regrets. show, yeah, he did the Rumble, didn't yeah. he? Nice guy. He was a nice, nice guy. guy. Nice guy. Um, I so wish really... him all the best, but it is just you know it's incredibly crappy practice. Just fire everyone and then hire them back on assumingly much lower contracts. One thing I forgot he did oh, yeah. uh, was the whole uh, twenty-four-seven championship wedding night angle. Yeah, <laughs> that was <laughs> excellent. That was good. Truly really excellent work. The height of the 24-7 championship with him and <sighs> Phil. Our truth. I cannot wait any longer. You have to tell me who the Miz is. Oh Surprise my action. god, you would if, not believe it. If it's it. not Cody. <laughs> if it's not Cody. Come on. Who could it be? What are the huge signings are out there? I'm not even going to tease it. It was Logan Paul. Can you make Logan. Logan Paul. Logan Sorry, Paul. I misheard you there. Logan Paul. Yeah. You know the YouTuber boxer Logan Paul. Just a lot. It was him. Yeah, good for him. 
He's obviously done stuff with WWE before. He was at Mania 37. He was in the Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens stuff. He took a stunner from KO. Uh, and then last night, Miz brought him out. And then the Mysterios accepted the match at WrestleMania. So it's going to be the Mysterios versus the Miz and Logan Paul. And then the bad guys attacked the good guys. And he kind of did this really crappy skull crushing finale thing. And that's it. Logan Paul's going to be wrestling at WrestleMania. He's taking the bad bunny slot. And something tells me it's not going to be quite as good. Okay, I just it, it doesn't sit right with me. YouTubers getting involved in pro wrestling. <laughs> like, yeah, all right, you want to talk, makes you want to talk about it, you want to up your little downs. Yeah, fair enough. But I just think you know there needs to be a line, and that line for me should be the ring apron. Yeah. you know what I mean. Fair. Just seems bit bit dis dis disrespectful, distasteful. Yeah. Has he done? Has he done his time? Has he? Has he paid his dues? He's paid has he? his dues? Has he I don't think he has. I, mean, I don't think he has at all. Money though. Mean, he might be okay. Bad Bunny was great. Bad Bunny was great. But I think he's not a YouTuber. Going. Crucially, yeah, this is true. This a is legitimate, true. A, a talented, artistic individual, <laughs> not a YouTuber. So there you go. Logan Paul's wrestling at WrestleMania. Cool. That's, that's that. Do we have any Twitter questions? I, I don't. To get some. I don't have any. Do we get some? Should we do a hard cut and try and find some? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we didn't actually ask for any Twitter questions, but what I've done is I've taken the rare step of delving into my Instagram requests folder, Danger. which is an absolute hellscape. <laughs> it's normally like just weird people asking for jobs and incredibly like aggressive homosexual men asking me if they can go out with me. Bless them! God bless what a waste of time that is. Anyway, got a great one from Jake Jitsu here. Hey. Have you seen Cody's latest Instagram story? You are the man to break this down. He compares himself to Wolf in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Here Sins of the Park. Now, you may have seen this, right? Cody posted a thing saying, I've just realized my entire life is basically like Wolf in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Sins of the Father. Now, loads of people are nerds. <laughs> but there are different types of nerds. So all the wrestling nerds are like, I don't understand that Star Trek reference and all the Star Trek. That's me. And all the Star Trek nerds are like, who's this guy? Why is he all of a sudden a big deal? I will break this down for you. I, you Jake Jitsu is right. I'm the, the man. perfect middleman between the two worlds. Now a lot of people are getting confused with this because the core premise of Sins of the Father is that Worf has always lived in disgrace because his father was believed to have collaborated with the Romulans on an attack on a Klingon colony, right? Okay. Wolf was a survivor, which is why he grew up with humans, but his father's always been disgraced, effectively, right? Can't go back to the Klingon Empire, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the premise of Sins of the Father is, Wolf finds out this is not true. It is actually Duras's father who collaborated with the Romans, but Duras is such an important figure in the Klingon uh, High Council that if this was revealed, it would lead to a Klingon civil war, right? So Wolf basically decides he has to live in disgrace, keep his mouth shut, so that, you know, whatever. And obviously, honor in this to Klingons is huge. So you know what I mean? To live with that is not just like, well, keep my head down. This is like, that's life altering stuff for him. Now, people are getting confused because the father element in this is quite obviously at the forefront, right? Mm -hmm. So people are like, this has got something to do with Dusty. It's all to do with that. I don't think it's that at all, right? There's a lot of stuff getting talked about, about why Cody left AEW and why he might go to WWE, mm -hmm. right? And he's kind of coming out, not as not as the good guy in all this, you know, as, oh, he wanted more money, he wanted to be on a level peg when this time you think. He's getting painted as a businessman, yes, but also like, kind of the bad guy in all this. Yeah. Not really, but like, if, if anybody's getting a bit of a, you know what I mean, it's kind of him. I think what he's trying to say is, none of that's true. Like, it's actually none of that's true at all. He didn't want this, or he didn't want that, or it wasn't any backstage problems, but he's just gonna keep his head down and let all this stuff get written, because if he did come out and say what actually happened, then there'd be a load more drama. It would be much worse if the truth came out than it would for people just to think he's, you know, collaborated with the Romulans, who in this case is WWE. <laughs> so there you go, there you that's there. You got any? As um, good as that? Uh, not really, if you want more nerd, <laughs> nerd stuff, go over to Trek Culture on YouTube and yeah, give a it a one. subscribe. I can't believe that was the top one. I'd never ever go in here. This is, oh, these are horrible. Oh God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, there's a dick. Right, so should we wrap it up there? <laughs> That has yes. been the wrestling news for today. Let us know what you made of it all in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We might be more prepared next time. Thoughts and prayers, of course, to our ill and not well colleagues, uh, the Mezzers, uh, Andrew H. Murray, Adam Wilborn, and Cedric Hill? Uh, Cedric's off. He's just off in general, yeah. Well, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers, T's and P's, everybody, T's and P's. But you get us on Twitter at Adam Cleary, C L E R Y, and you? At Phil My Chambers. You've been working out? Yes. You have actually? Wow. <laughs> I didn't like that. All right, get everybody at What Culture Wrestling at What Culture WWE. Sorry, this has been such a mess. We only found out we were doing it about five minutes before we yeah. came in. Should we dance again? <laughs> the news is done. Thanks for watching the news. <laughs> 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 I feel sick again. <laughs>